Welcome back to the channel, everyone. So glad to be back in, in front of the camera, seeing you guys, talking to you guys. And again, I want to thank Irving Fryer for the interview he gave me on Monday night. I truly appreciate you, Irving. You know, uh, I, we, we, we Zoomed it, but I, I guess I didn't Zoom it right. But just the fact that, man, I appreciate the fact that you took time out to uh, do an uh, uh, interview with me, do a podcast with me. I truly appreciate you. Thank you, sir. Uh, we have to do better. We have to, we have to get back together and do it again. I truly appreciate you to, for for taking a chance on me and saying, you know what, I, I'm going to get Dougie win a chance because I know you can have been, been using your time for anything else, and I truly appreciate you. Again, shout out to everyone. Shout out to Brother Reverend Lee. Reverend Lee, thank you, man. Forklift, appreciate you, man. We, we, we're going to get Forklift on the channel today, get him get him grinding. I know, I know that's your nickname for him. We truly appreciate you for Tuning in, man. Thank you, man, for all the support that you guys give us. Thank you. Uh, today, today we're gonna we'll do some bench, and we're gonna do a little incline bench. So, so you guys get the idea of how to do incline bench. We go, we do the bench here downstairs, and then, then we go into the garage and do the incline bench. Show the technique, the proper technique of incline bench, right? But thank you, thank you to all the angels, man. I appreciate all the angels, man. You guys stay up. I know you guys the holidays are coming, you know, and hopefully one day that Tyler Perry will will, will, will hear us, right? If not, we're still going to keep on grinding, man. We're going to keep grinding. Shout out to the, to, to the angels, to Brother Marky, Brother Noah, Brother Diney, Brother Jazir, Brother Corey, Brother Cairo, Brother Quandry, Brother Ethan, and Brother Timothy, and Brother Sean. Thank you, guys. Man, we'll get this workout in. But again, uh, shout out to uh, Reverend Lee. Reverend Lee, thank you, man, for, for, for shouting us out. Thank you for looking at the channel. And um, Dr. Fryer, Urban Fryer, appreciate you, brother. Thank you for... Uh, Gave me an interview on Monday night. I truly appreciate it, man. And we'll get, we have to get together soon, okay? We'll just start doing, doing some uh, bench. And guys, remember, man, this has to be, you know, I, I see a lot of people still not training, still making excuses why they don't want to train. And, 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 and believe me, guys, it's only going to hurt you. And then I see the ones that's training negative, ones that are hurting themselves training, right? Guys, we ain't playing those post sports, right? We ain't, playing, we ain't getting paid for this, right? We, we, but we trying to stay alive, right? We got to train smart. Not train hurt, because if you hurt, you can't train. Remember, my hands are always right. Make sure I feed the planet. CMD stand up, CMD stand up. Today, we have uh, Zach, for Zach here at the class, we have Zach will do a little workout with us. Everybody know brother Zach? Remember guys, let's make sure we get to the doctors. Blood work done, physicals, the see the doctors. Those don't know that foot doctor. Eyes checked. Ladies mammograms. Pap smears, all that good stuff. Bone density test. Let's get that stuff done, guys. So important that we take care of our business. Again, you gotta train smart. Don't don't overdo stuff. Don't do stuff too heavy. That you mess your back up, whatever. Tear a peck. We gotta be smart. We train. You know, you 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 be a young young person, 19, 20 years old. You tear your back up. What are you gonna be when you're 30, right? So we gotta be smart in how we train, right? We gotta be smart in how we train. We can't be, you know, going going over overboard for ego. Remember what I'm saying? Leave your ego in the street. Nothing stops me. I guess I have to keep saying that over and over and over again. Leave your ego in the street. Don't bring your ego in the gym. Bring your ego in the gym. That's how you get hurt. We got to be smart. How we train. We can't be sitting here, you know, we sitting here trying to show off in front of girls and stuff like that. Then we mess yourself up, right? 
No, that's, that's not smart. Then you know, then you all hurt and everything else is going on. And no, we gotta be smart, guys. We gotta be smart how we train. We gotta be smart how we train. You know, a lot of people they rather, I guess they want that that that, that self gratification first and, and, and let nobody see them do stuff. But that's how you get hurt, and you don't want to get hurt. You, you want to keep training. Who wants to be laid up with a back injury, a shoulder injury, or a torn pec, right, or a torn knee, right? I told you, you don't need you don't need all them heavy squats. Don't need all them heavy heavy deadlifts. And just train, just hit deadlift, but be smart to them. Squat, be smart to squat. Bench, be smart to bench, right? Again, if you've been benching and going bench heavy, have a spot. Remember, take your protein for your workout. Protein for your workout. Protein after your workout. Get the beats flowing, guys. Get the beats flowing. Never mind this morning. That's it, guys. And then one more fart in the gym. You got fart, fart. It's okay. You might smell like a porta potty, but it's okay. Yes, yes, yes. Got the guy yesterday. Mm. And he came in there. Camera down just a little bit more. There we go. Yeah, boom. yeah so it's so important, guys. So we just keep continuing training. Again, like I said, you want to do a couple of days off? Get your days off, rest your body, come back fully ready, okay? Remember, watch what we put into our bodies, watch your diets, right? Gotta be consistent in what we do. Again, the only reason why Zach. Uh, train when he trained, lost all that weight, like he lost everything because he was consistent. He put the work in, right? We got to put the work in. If we don't put the work in, and nothing's going to happen, guys. We have to put the work in. We got to be consistent, right? We got to train. We got we to, we got, everything's mindset. Everything's our mental. We have to have our mental right. If your mental's not right, you ain't going to be right. It starts with that. It starts with mental, guys. I keep telling you guys, I, 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 it all comes back to what? Our mental. I keep telling you guys, you said, Dougie, you were right. Yeah, I know, I know what I'm talking about. I know what I'm talking about. I've been doing this thing for a minute, over 40 some years. I know what I'm talking about. I've been through it, been, been in it. So you guys just have to, have to believe. So you, you guys will believe someone that you never met before, someone you saw on TV. But I'm, I'm here with you and telling you, this is how it goes. For those who've been knowing me for the last 30 years working with me, you know, this is how I've been, consistent, every day in the gym, going to the gym every day, staying the same strength. So, so your same strength from time you were time you were 30 years old, now you're almost 60 years old, right? Same strength. So I was doing something right. Thinking stronger. Is it my third set? Oh, you, you, so you started first. So it's my third set. Right. Okay. Shout out to Brother Lee. Brother, Brother Lee. Reverend Lee, what's up, Reverend Lee? I appreciate you, brother. CMD.
the beats are, the beats are flowing. I feel the beats going already. That's it. That's it. It's getting hot in here. We ain't taking no clothes off though, but it's getting hot up in this joint. So we gotta keep keep continuing the train, keep on doing what we what I do, guys. And I, again, I can't I can't re reiterate enough about safety, right? You gotta be safe. Don't lift more than what you can lift. That's how you get hurt. If you get hurt. You can't train. You out of you, you out of commission. So we gotta be smart. Again, leave our ego in the street, right? Don't bring your ego in the gym, guys. Don't. You know we can. We know we, this is our going on our second month doing this, and you guys should know this already. If you're watching, if you're watching, watching the uh, videos, I catch people. They say, "Hey, so and so, so and so." I said, "Oh, you must not have been watching the videos. I got 54 videos. I explained that already. So you must have been watching." Oh, my bad. Nah, bro. The only way we're gonna learn is by watching. Right? Take time out. Take time out of your busy schedule to watch 15 to 20 minutes. You're learning something. This is all learning stuff. This is how we learn by watching. So you watch, turn the video on. 15, 20 minutes, you're gonna learn something. Most times, stuff that you're asking me or stuff you're saying I already taught on the videos already. So I mean, it tells me that you're not watching the videos. See, I know who subscribe who don't subscribe. I, I know the count. So don't tell me you're gonna subscribe and don't subscribe. I know who subscribe and don't subscribe. You ain't gotta do that. You, you, we we too grown for that. My job is to teach you guys. My job has been to share love and share peace. That's what we doing. Let's get to say them. I'm gonna make sure my hands are right. I'm gonna make sure my feet are planted. We're going to lift. Get that bonding with your son. Something never get the rest of his life. He do the same thing with his kids when they get grow up. That's what it's all about. Bonding, sharing with our family. Uh, we have somebody trying to trying to. Interrupt our peace. <laughs> Chaos to this world. <laughs> Yeah. 
These are good workouts to have with your family members, child, daughter, whatever, for that binding. And I got to say, he'll be one day, he'll be, well, bless God, bless him, he'll be 60 years old one day. He'll be able to remember him, I'll be dead and gone. So, hey, man, me and my dad, me and my pops used to work out this way. He'll be working out with his son this way, or his daughter, right? So, that's what it's all about, you know, spending that time when you can spend time. So, I know people got to work and do everything else. Like I said, that's the difference between us. We're ordinary people. We got jobs to go to. We got children to take care of. We got bills to. We don't. They don't pay us to train, right? We we, we have to do this because we don't, we want to stay alive, right? So this is why we do this, right? This is why we train. This is why we stay up. This is why we got to keep let, getting that blood flow. Everybody got to believe that, man. It's all about blood flow. Stop making excuses why we don't train. You think because you move around? All no, no. You have to train, ladies. You have to get the weight training in. You know why? Remember, bone density. Bone density. Got to get the bone density because why? Cause otherwise. God forbid you get older, you fall, you, the bones are going to be brittle and they're going to break. And you're, you're going to be in that old saying, you're going to be in a heap of trouble. Because you're going to be sore, you're going to be broke the whole nine, and won't be able to heal. So lightweights, so don't be no heavyweights. You don't have to do what I do. But you have to get in the weight room. Have to eat properly, right? Shout out to my Husker sisters. Deborah Powell, Crystal Coleman, shout you guys out. My Husker sisters, the push up, ladies. Uh, my Husker guys, right? Mike Mike Rosier, Guy Rosier, Urban Fryer, Paul Miles, Stan Wade. Woody Page, stand up, brothers, brother, stand up. That, that's, that's the Husker, that's the Husker connection. Remember, your hands will always be right. Feet on the ground properly, so you press like you're pressing through the ground, like you're trying to bust the bricks open. That's the mindset. Everything is mindset. Everything's mindset. Old saying, mind over matter. Gonna do, he's gonna make sure his hands are properly. I'm gonna make sure his hands are properly. See what a good spider does. Make sure the bar is not crooked. Make sure he's even. No, he's even. Make sure his hands are right. We'll make sure everything, all this is right when you do this. And with no injuries. I'm gonna give you five. You got it, bro.
159 year old man, you know, working out first thing in the morning. I don't know too many guys. That what makes me different. Just let you know, this is for real. We can make excuses why we can't do this, we can't do that. I told you, and there's no room for excuses. CMD, stand up. Remember, please subscribe to the channel. Please hit the like button. Please share it with your friends. Hit the bell. Please subscribe, guys. Please. Remember, if you need when we reach me on on the, uh, on email, please hit me at glowpowercmd72 at gmail.com. That's glowpowercmd72 at gmail.com. I truly appreciate it, guys. Any comments you might have? Anyone want to get contact me about about, about getting 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 trained? Any 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 tips that you might need about power, strength, anything, diet, whatever. I'm your dude. Holler at your boy. All right. Let's get this piece in. I'm always making sure my hands are right, always. There's de definitely things I just do automatically. I always constantly have to do. Just, just always do. So I can make sure I'm good. He's going to be back here spotting me. He knows how to spot me. I've been doing it for up 10 years, so he knows what to do. Ugly. Notice, everything's always under control, right? The bar is always under control. The bar is always under control. And you know, 59 year old dudes still got it. Was always want to sleep on me. Y'all might see the stomach in the video, but you can see this forearm in your head. <laughs> so, so, you might see the stomach in the video, but you'll see this forearm on top of your head. You gotta remember, guys, be nose tackle through and through. That's my mindset. You check his hands, make sure his hands are right. You make sure his feet are right. He takes the bar off himself. He's gonna bring it down under control. He's gonna train. Incline press and why we do it. Yeah, it's hot down this joint. Uh, so I have some, some, some beats, man. You know, I tell you, you know, the key is keeping them keep, keep consistently keeping that in, in, in our bodies, the, the beats, because remember why? Nitric oxide. The nitric oxide, what goes to our muscles, right? Helps give us that pump. I know we're not using the chemicals of NO2, but we're using beats. Beats do the same thing, right? So what we want to do is try to try to do try to eat properly and put the right stuff in our body so that we don't have to do nothing to our organs, right? So that's why we do it. Again, please subscribe to the channel. Share it with your friends. Share it with your coworkers. Share it with your mom, dad, brothers and sisters, friends. Let's get it, guys. And we ain't here getting it, guys. You got to take this seriously. A lot of guys will tell you to, to talk a good game. Again, you can't be in for two weeks and all of a sudden you, you, you bow out. No, that means hospital. That spells hospital. That's all that spells. In for two weeks, bow out. That spells hospital. That's what that's all it does. You've been in the hospital, sick, and wonder why you're sick. Right? For why? Because you didn't get off the couch. Gotta get off the couch, guys. 
I keep saying that. Keep saying it. Keep saying it. I think you guys can complain when I say it, or uh, while you guys get you guys uh, get you lose interest, because you figure, oh, this holidays are coming up. I gotta do this. I gotta do that. But you see, you, you can take time out to do all that. But you can't take time out for yourself, and that's why I keep telling you, it's all about you. You come first when working out your body. You come first. So okay, you want to go shop? Go shop. Go do that. But take care of your take take care of your exercise first. Take care of your body first. Then go shop. Then do what you gotta do. Or whatever, but you gotta find time, man. Find time. All right, let's get this in. Zach, go check the weights. He'll make sure. So what you always have to do is make sure the weights are right. Sometimes somebody might might forget to put a put a put a plate on. Then you get into the bar and go lift. Oh, it's uneven. So that's why it's so important that your spider, if you have a spider, make sure everything's right. Make sure it's, everything's tight. Make sure the plates are on. Otherwise, sometimes accidents happen. So that's why we gotta make sure always show a match. You got, a, you got a quarter on that side, you got to mix your quarter on that side. You got a dime on that side, make sure you have a dime on that side. Everything has to be even. You got to make sure the bar comes down under control. I don't care if it's 140 to 280. You got to make sure the bar is always under control. See the grooves. I see the grooves. My hands gonna be next to the grooves. Then I put my thumbs over the top of the bar, over the top of the bar, wrap around the bar. My feet gonna feel like I'm busting through the bricks. We're gonna train. Come now under control and press. Under control and press. See, how, see, again, like I said, he knows how to spot me. He's been doing it with me for so long, so he knows me. So. Sweater. It's actually not a sweater, it's a sweater. And uh, with the beats, running through it, brother. Blood flowing, NO2 going through, nitro oxide, running through the veins. We're gonna make sure his hands are right. We're gonna check and make sure he's wearing the proper weight on each side so there's no accidents. Bar is even. What I mean by the bar is even, nothing not over Thomas signal on the other side. It's straight even. That's so important. It'll work, it'll work, it'll work, it'll work. It's good money, it's good money. He's in. My job is help guide him in. My job is help guide him in. So he knows he's in. It's my job. You know, make sure when I mean, you do this stuff, everything's proper, right? Everything, everything's even. Hands are right, feet are right. You know, you know, always make sure you have a great, a good spot. You no, know, if you have a spot, you have to have a spot. Make sure you have a good spot, right? Good spot, because a good spot can determine whether you be hurt or you save your life. You see some accidents where people, the bar falls on their face, falls on their throat, falls on their chest, cracks their chest, cracks their face, whatever, right? We don't want that. We gotta be smart, right? We gotta be smart how we train, right? So if you got a spider, make sure your spider knows you. Make sure he's a good spider. Make sure he's not 
paying attention and he's in the gym, you in the gym where you got girls and stuff, he's not watching the girls instead of watching you, right? That's just part of maturity, right? That's just part of maturity, being smart, right? No, don't, can't do that. That, that that's, I've seen that happen before. Guys will be spotting someone, they're watching something else, they're paying attention or playing with the radio, trying to get their radio right, whatever, right? Nah, your eyes are supposed to be on your spider, paying, give him all the attention, give him all the love. But God forbid if something happened, that bar, the, the, white, the, 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 right, the right weight's not on the bar, somebody's gonna get hurt. So just you gotta be, you gotta be conscious, conscious, conscious of what's going on around you. Please protect your partner, right? So like I said, we're gonna do this, we're gonna do this, and we're gonna uh, uh, go into the um, horizon. We're gonna do some incline, because we, we got the rack out there. We're gonna do some incline press, do the proper technique, teach you the technique on how incline press go. Because like I said, we're gonna start introducing different things. Just wanna give some little, give some little difference to so show you guys what will be coming, right? So right now we gotta get our base, remember? Get our foundation on how we do regular bench, right? And then we go to the, to the incline, where of course, Benches for this part of your chest, inclines for the upper part of your chest, right? Like I said, I don't see too many 59 year old men doing this. Come on, guys, let's go, old heads. Let's get in this gym. Let's start making excuses why we don't train. Everybody make excuses why we don't train until you're in the hospital. CMD, stand up, CMD, stand up. I see some more subscribers out of Camden. Let's go. Stop hating. Don't subscribe. Let's go. Share with your friends. Let's go, CMD. Going out here to this to this garage. It's just incline joints. How we do it, guys? Here we go. Oh, nice and cool out here. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, buddy. Now we're out here, we're gonna do some inclines. Right here. And then it's like a minute. But it's like riding a bike. Once you do it, once you know how, you have to get it. Luther say, Once you know how, you will never forget how to love. Wait, 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 I see. No, I see. No, 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 get some rejection. Be careful, watch the ball.
we're putting on the safety bars now, we're putting the safety bars on. You know, so let's put the power rack, put the safety bars on. So we match them up with the numbers. that you are underneath it. Yeah, it's a little bit more, so it can come directly down. Is that to move the seat up, or is that that's the perfect thing? No, it should be a little, 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 little more. A little more? I don't yeah. want to get less. Another tick. Another yeah. tick. I don't want to bring that out. No. Uh, yeah, pro properly. It's properly lubricated now. Yeah. Welcome to the hole! That's all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I use for the bar. That should be fine. That should be fine. I have used that, so I know I use this one for the lights on the blankets. Blankets for lights. Clean the blankets for lights. This is a bandage you're painting on. Too much sweat. Man, ain't standing on too much sweat. All right. We're going to put it on that piece. I usually use the other one. The 45 for the Huh? Try that. 45? 45. Mm -hmm. This is different. You know, This is an incline press. It's for the upper part of the chest. We'll start incorporating this into our workouts. When we, uh, when, when you guys, you gotta move over so you get your bar nuts straight. That's it, yeah. Come on, move it out, stretch my muscles, move it out. When we're doing incline press, we'll make sure we bring it down and that bar comes very clean and ready for your chin. That's what's coming up. We're building the upper part of our chest. That's what we're doing. It's called incline press. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Sit, 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 sit
right here. Yeah. Right. So you're here, you're bench press. You gotta hit it here. So we just try to find it right where we want the want the chair at, right? So we gotta find a way to bench to be able to hit it right off. Exactly. So this is different because we're squatting off of, but we're doing inclines off the power rack. Mm -hmm. It makes a difference. So we gotta adjust. See this how you guys? We tell me how you guys how we adjust. And that when the mind, we don't dumbbell press it'd be easy because we don't want to take taking up the bar, right? Mm -hmm. Now dumbbell presses incline be easy because because we got the dumbbells on hand. Here we gotta find out. Or is 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 is, you know, is the rack right? Whatever. Now we can move that closer. You move that closer for us. So so they can actually see what we're doing here. Yeah. They actually really see what we're doing. Yeah. And yeah. That's what you bring it up to me. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's good. Mm -hmm. I might wanna I might wanna uh, break it down a little more. But uh, so we gotta make sure we're here, right? I gotta make sure that my, I'm out enough. So I can bring that bar right down my chest. So I want to bring it down here because I'm going to be bench pressing. So I want to bring it right, the, 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 the technique should be here underneath my chest. I'm bringing it right down here and then try to bring it right through the top part of my chest. But it's, it's, it's a technique that has to be learned, do it over and over again, right? Hands are proper, just, just, just like when we did our bench down here. You always make sure your hands are right, make sure your feet are right, right? So you'll bring up the bar, I'm going to bring it down. Like this. Okay. I want to concentrate. See, you have to put that emphasis in your mind that I want to keep the top part of my chest. I'm here, I'm benching. Here, I'm doing incline. So you got to just take the time, but do lightweight and just to get the technique down. We ain't done this in years, right? But it's needed, right? All right. I'll wipe this down for you. So I'm sweating like crazy. Ass cheeks are sweating. So you gotta find out what's comfortable with you with the bench. So you might, you might, you might say you need it down a little more, when you need it up, whatever. You gotta find out what's comfortable for you. Right? So this is all about teaching, all about that father son bonding. It's all about guys. It's all about. So this is for the upper part of our chest. So we've been doing bench, bench for the lower part of our chest. Incline press for the upper part of our chest. To get the technique right, and once we get the technique sound, it's like muscle memory. Muscle memory, like riding a bike, like riding a bike. Muscle memory, this is what we're doing. That's it. That's it. You gotta pause it. Tap it, there you go. There you go. So see now, see, see now he's hitting the upper part of his chest. I'm gonna bring him down, bring, bring the camera down a little bit more. So we actually see, see we actually. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. So you guys can actually see the technique. See what we're doing, see what we're doing. See that bar coming down on our chest. So I'm about to tell you, incline, incline press. Then gonna press it for the upper part of our chest. Well, this is how it should be in the garage. Nice and cool, nice and cool, man. And that, see, in, in, that, in the basement, it was hot in that joint. Out here, it's nice and cool. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. So again, please subscribe to the channel, guys. Please share it with your friends. Again. I, I totally believe, I know a lot of people believe the training is necessary, it's necessary. If we want to stay around, we stay at the hospital, we have to work out, right? I, I'd like to see, I'd like to see Zach because he's young, but if you, if, 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 you, if you do it now while you're young, when you get old, you're going to be doing the same thing because it's something that just is a lifestyle, right? You make it a lifestyle, you make it happen when you're young until you get old, you'll be fine. But stay around and make all kinds of excuses why we don't train, then you end up in the hospital, end up getting toes cut off, end up blind and everything else. Why? Because we were lazy. We didn't share it with our friends. We ate what we want to eat. And then all of a sudden you want everybody to feel sorry for you. Psych. I'm going to make sure that I'm, I get my hands right. Same, like, same, same, same premise that we do bench. Make sure my hands, but the only thing, I bring this down to my, it's a different technique. It's a different movement, right? So that's why we do a light first. Because your body has to get used to it. Your muscles have to get used to it. Your shoulders have to get used to doing this. Because you're not doing it's a different movement. So we got to be smart, right? I make sure my hands are right. I make sure that uh, 
I bring it down under control, and we're gonna train. See? Now, some people can probably bring it all the way down to the chest, but they don't have much muscle. For me being wide as I am muscle, I can bring it down as far. So I'm not gonna force it to try to so I can tear my, my chest up and tear my pec, tear my shoulders up. I'll bring it down, remember, underneath my chin, up part of my chest. I'm not, I don't want to bench press this. I want to do incline. This is what we're going to do. Showing you guys the technique. Showing you. Oh, I'm just trying to go No, it's okay. One, this is showing you guys what we should do. This is all about. It's all about getting the technique down. Showing you how we get it out of the rack. So I'm going to get my feet right, make sure my hands are right. Exactly the exact that part like that, watch. But he's been working out, so you have this concept, idea of what we should be doing. So, it's all about. Make sure the bar is right, make sure it means not that sliding. But this is, this, is, this is a blessing to be able to have a gym in your house so we can train. So my thing is, when I knew 20 years ago, I want to be alive. But this is why I train. Bring that a little closer to your chin. There you go, right there, perfect, right there. Yep, yep, right there. See, see the difference right there, look at that, see? Yep, good job. We work, you in. Now you want to that, we, 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 we got the 50 pound dumbbells, just show them, mm -hmm. you can kind of press them with the dumbbells. Mm -hmm. So you can see the difference, right? Right. So, can you, you want to hear me dumbbell? No, no, no. This would be the best one. Out first? No, 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 we, 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 we do it right there. You do it right yeah, there? Yeah, we should be able to do it right there. Mm -hmm. Let me bring it down a little bit. I'll bring it down a little bit. Yeah, we'll say the way. Yeah. Right okay, there, that's perfect. Yeah. I'll move this back a little bit. Excuse me. So now we're going to show you the difference of how we would do it that we were doing with the dumbbell. You're going to hand me the dumbbell one, one, one dumbbell. Thank you. We're going to put one dumbbell on my leg. That's one. In here, I got it. So we going to So what we do with this? See, these are, I always say dumbbells are, are harder because remember on dumbbells you got to balance them. If you can't balance them. One, one don't go up, the other one ain't going up. You won't be doing the one 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 on dumbbells, right? So we got to make sure everything's even, right? Make sure everything's even. So again, we're gonna start showing this minute. again. Why? This is teaching. This is teaching. We ain't trying to impress nobody. We're trying to teach people how to do properly. You want your upper body. But the same as your lower body, upper, upper part of your chest, same as lower part of your chest, right? How we gonna do that? Dumbbell presses, right? Dumbbell incline or incline presses, right? So how we do? I'm a, my, my, what I do? I, I'm gonna bring them back. Yeah, I got them up here. I'm gonna put them. Over to Zach. One. Make sure you have it properly. So let me know. Thanks. Here you go. There we go. That's a good technique. There we go. There we go. Good job. Good job. Good job. You hold more for a second. Oh, we got the bench here. So you can put it down for a second. You want to put it down? Put it down for a second. You want to go so we do a minute half rest. But this, this is what? See, see the technique he did? Perfect. See? We ain't done in a while, but see? Like playing play, play sports. It's muscle memory, right? Once you do it, you always have it, but you gotta do it. If you, if you want the upper part of your chest big and, 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 and want that meat up there, dumbbell presses, dumbbell incline presses, or regular incline, regular incline press, right? With the barbell. 
But what you know, mind you know, if you got a which call, if you got a spider, have a spider. Dumbbell presses, the, 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 the bench, the barbell incline press, a little different because you gotta get that balance, right? You gotta, you gotta get used to the bar out in front of you. So that's important, okay? We're gonna do another set of these guys. We're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna shut it down because we got things to do. Zach so got class to do, he got, he got, he got to go class today. But well, we wanted to get this in so you guys should see this during the day. But we load it up tonight and you go work out whatever you see. Hey, these are different things that you can do. We did the bench press down early, right? Then we're doing incline presses, right? This is so important, guys, to be staying in the gym. Tell your friends, man. We got to tell our friends, our, our co workers, our, our loved ones, our, our husbands, our wives, our, our moms, our dads, whatever. Get in the gym. Again, like I said, don't be intimidated by the weights. Don't be intimidated by weights. Do light weights, right? Be careful mindset and mindset what you put in your mouth, right? Get your protein, good proteins in. Get your good carbs in, right? Drink a lot of water. That's so important. I think this guy drink, drink, drink a gallon and a half of water a day. But why? It's important. It's important. That's what keeps your skating life. Like, why you think, hey, every time I work, everybody might know me. I got that big old thermos, right? You're drinking that water, right? That's the key to your skin, the key to everything, right? The fullness of your body, right? All right, man. I'm doing stuff to do. Again, technique is everything. Remember, make sure we're right. He gonna give me one. I'm gonna make sure it's right on my right on my witch call. Excuse me, I got it. Okay, here. Here, you got this. I got this. Okay. Yep. I'm gonna put them here. Usually I kick them up, but these are light, so I have to worry about kicking them up. Muscle them up. I don't stand all the way up because I want to hurt my elbows. So here, this is why you see it going like this. Here, boom, go get up, boom. I'm going him to one at a time. I'm gonna show you good first, so I'll leave him. Come on here. Mm. Yeah, take me to jump where work. These are incline dumbbell presses. Incline dumbbell presses. So I'll be doing get the upper part of your chest thick. Get that meat up there. As we want. And you get that line going down. Good job, Jeff. Nice. Guys, I want to thank you guys for being part of us today. Thanks, Zach, for being a guest with us, Zach. I appreciate you, Zach. No problem, Zach. Yep. So this, guys, let's get it in. Do what we do. Zach, I'm going to say, say bye to the people. Hang on. Again, guys, we love you guys. Shout out to my people's man. Shout out to, to Brother Gamo, Sister Major. Uh, so shout out to Sister Shirley. Hey, Timothy. What's up, Timothy? What's up? One of our angels. Brother Sean. My nephew. Guys, angels, man. We love you guys. Marky Mark. We love you, Marky Mark. We love you, brother. Guys, Brother Noah, we love you guys. To our angels. Shout out to you guys, man. Somebody reach out the tower. Tell them to give these angels a shout out. We don't want nothing from them. We ain't trying to, we ain't trying to, trying to get nothing from them. All we want them to do is shout them out because they love them, right? Guys, we love you. Talk to you guys later on the channel. You guys be safe. Again, hope you got something from this, something from this workout. Something different. Remember, incline press for the upper part of our chest. Get the meaty parts. It's gonna be different movement for you first because you've been on bench, right? Now, other part parts of the body gets 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 incorporated, right? Again, shout out to Urban Fryer for appreciate me, appreciate you, brother. Thank you for taking a chance with me, doing an interview with me, man. Doing a podcast. I truly appreciate you, brother, man. I love you, man. You guys be safe. God bless you. One love. And shout out to my wife, more important. Love you, Kim. Be safe here, okay? All right, peace. Bye-bye. One. Randy, I love you, Wayne.